<clears throat> oh shit. One second, y'all. Evidently, I set my, my mask on my car and it just blew off. Luckily, I had it in a Ziploc bag so we can stay sanitized after I wash it. You want to be washable kind, right? So, welcome to my Twisted Life on TV. I am Portrait. This is the video that I said I wasn't going to do, which is the Travel and Talk Tuesday. This is the only video I'm doing this week. And I decided to go ahead and do it so I could uh, give you guys a better understanding of why I'm not doing other videos this week and it's mainly just because I am not prioritizing I'm not getting things done that are a priority it's not that I'm not prioritizing it because I, my intent is there you know um, my attempts are there it's just that I haven't been able to do it and y'all know every once in a while at least once a year I gotta take some time away YouTube just to get myself back in check and I think was it last year? I don't even remember I took off all the way until Valentine's Day of the year four. I don't know who got the light yes I do um, I had to take off like a month or two. Oh, you can see the color Yeah. 
But that's what I'm saying. I need to, um, I'm not really paying attention. And I noticed that yesterday when I was at work too, um, I had to go back to a client's house three times because I put wrong information in that shit three times. Tiredness. That, that's, that's where my exhaustion come in. When I'm tired, I don't think straight. I don't think straight at all. And this person on the right side of me, bro, don't try to jump your ass in between me right here. Don't do it. Yeah, so like, um, I need to, I need to get some good rest. Like, I go to sleep, but I'm not getting good rest. <laughs> I wake up still tired, so yeah, I'm not getting good rest. I need to get some good rest. And I want to say yesterday, that's what happened. Yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up work. I got this to do. I got this to do. I got this to do. I'll make sure I get it done. I had it in my mind. I even put it in my little phone. You know, like, back in the day, we used to carry PDAs.
got in this together. I'm finna go on this really bumpy part of the road, which really takes up the sound. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna talk a little louder on this part of the road because I don't want to stop talking. My microphone is horrible now. And I'm, I've been using just the mic on the phone because my lapel mic had already broke. So, So I've been using the mic on the phone, but as my phone gets older, you know, sometimes I drop it here and there, the sound quality on the phone gets bad as well. Plus, I've been taking the toll road to work. The toll road is fucked up. The way the road is not even, it's gravelly, there's potholes, it's just horrible. Orlando streets is not good in some parts of town. The toll road is one of them. As much money as they've been, they've been putting that toll road together since I moved here. They ain't fixed it yet. So the sound sound like shit. When, um, is the police back there? I see lights. It's like four cars back though. But I can't tell if that's that red vehicle or if that's the actual police. Anywho. So, um, I gotta get a new mic for the phone so these traveling talk Tuesdays won't sound like shit anymore. Um, I want to get back into editing my content on the channel. Um, I don't know. In a way, y'all tell me, if y'all watching this video, do y'all prefer it edited or not? Because when it's not, you get my real honest, uncut versions of what I'm thinking and saying, but then, it, then you get all kind of other shit happening in the house as well. The dog barking, the horns blowing outside. When I start making mistakes, I can't find stuff and I got to thumb through my information. Or do y'all prefer to go back to uh, edit it? I used to edit the videos. They got all the ums and the nerves. And, it, but, and it, but that process takes a long time. So I don't know, I'm going to use y'all opinions and then make my best decision. Y'all opinion ain't going to necessarily be what I do. I'm just going to take y'all, you know, what y'all saying into consideration. And then, you know, something may adjust. But I know sitting there editing a video in full takes more time than I have. More time than I have. And I don't have a production team. I know a lot of people, I realize y'all got people helping y'all. I ain't got that. Um, Well, y'all got the time to do it. You know, y'all got the type of job where y'all can sit down at home or sit down at work and do both at the same time. I used to have a type of job when I was in the office setting.
luckily, the criteria for YouTube, the partnership, I need to have 4,000 watch time hours in a year. And I had enough to lose 9,000. So far, I still got 80,000 watch time hours for the whole year. So I'm way above what YouTube wants me to have. They only want us to have 4,000. So I'm not in threat of losing the partnership or nothing like that. However, I, I'm in threat of my channel not growing like it's supposed to. And I'm in threat of losing subscribers. I think I'm about seven subscribers since I announced that I was not um, doing Married at First Sight. No, I lost 12. I lost 12 people since I said I wasn't going to do Married at First Sight. Um, but if those 12 people were listening, I told them in the beginning that this was a show that I was going to try to watch because y'all asked me to, but I don't like it. And I wasn't going to probably stick with it. So I told y'all that in the beginning. Y'all just got to fucking listen. Um, so, but yeah, I'm going to take a real serious hard look about what shows that I think I want to stay consistent with. Maybe I'm going to end up just doing two a week, y'all. Which basically means I'll be doing two, two shows a season. That's wild. That's weird. I don't know. I'll figure that shit out. But I got too many overlapping shows. So I'm going to have to start picking and choosing which ones I can actually do actual reviews on and I'll probably do that based off of the viewership that I already have when I look at the uh, previous videos that I did and compare those to how people are actually watching them okay so there's that, that's that with the channel I talked about my medical um, and exhaustion so yeah I got a lot of appointments going on y'all um I finally got a doctor at the VA who actually fucking listened. <laughs> Somebody other than my therapist who I haven't seen in a fucking year. I realize that I haven't seen I haven't been to therapy in a fucking year. One of my little cuckoo right there. So, uh, this third doctor called me. She calls me in regards to a gynecology console. I didn't even know what the fuck the gynecology console was because I thought I was going in to do a pap smear on the day that I had uh, this, this particular you know, conversation with her. And then going through our conversation, she just started asking me 
So she finna really get into she she threw her weight behind it. And it was like this doctor. I mean, I had I sat at work one day just answering phone calls from the VA. Setting up we got a consult from this doctor that said you need to yeah. Street to Walgreens, give me some Gorilla Glue, and I glue my arms back on. <laughs> but they like, if I bend down too much, they fall off my face. And then my other purse just like, ah, they, they, they sit on my face like, ah, crooked. So that's all bad too. Come on. Um, but other than that, y'all, I'm not like mentally breaking down or nothing like that. It just so I like, I, I, I appreciate all y'all concerns about like, yeah, get your help together first. There's so much more going on in my life besides. So that's that's the type of stuff that I need to do. I, that's how I decided to take just a week. 